On 3rd December 2022, the National People's Party had welcomed former Speaker and MLA Abu Tahar Mandal to its family. At a program that was held at the NPP state headquarters in Shillong, the Chief Minister of Meghalaya and also National President of the NPP, Conrad Sangma, announced the candidature of A.T. Mandal from the 46th Fulbari constituency for the 2023 elections. Others present during the event included the state working president of the NPP, Don Kuparwar, working president of Fulbari constituency, Albiston A. Sangma, East Kassil's District President Jet Singh Kurba, NPYF State Youth President Kit Borlang Nongrem, and State Secretary of the NPP Bajok Pengro. As the national president of the National People's Party, that Sri A.T. Mondol will be the candidate of the National People's Party in the coming 2023 elections for the Pulbari constituency. Let there be no doubt about this. And I would want all our leaders of the National People's Party and all the leaders who are now joining and coming along with Sri A.T. Mondol that we need to work together as a team. We need to ensure that we come out victorious in this election in 2023 in Pulbari constituency. Mr. A.T. Mondol is a kind of person who we have all seen, a person who has always treated everybody equally. He has never differentiated between different communities and different religious groups. For him, all are the same. And he has ensured that he would take care of everybody in the past. And I'm sure that even in the coming days and years, he will always take all communities, all religious sects, all religious groups together and move forward. And I'm sure that that will be the way that he will function in the future also. I would like to thank uh, the NPP under the leadership of uh, Mr. Conrad Sherman. That thank you very much that you have given us an opportunity to work with you in future that we will work together hand in hand and try to uh, get as much support as possible in the region where i belong and also other region wherever it is required my services sir now many will ask that why i have finally chosen npp the best thing is that what i was thinking Considering my personal experience in politics from 1998, stability is the major factor for the overall development for the street. And in that place, I have seen in 1998, in five years, almost five governments were installed. So any government changes in between. There is change in the programs and policies, and ultimately, who gets dis uh, whose benefit gets disrupted? It is the people of the state. Subsequent years also I have seen that even from the same dispensation, from the same political party, if the government is headed by their own MLA, but still there was change of guard, it could not continue more than two, three years, something like that we have seen when I was in Congress also. Then when we in opposition, I lost the election and uh, we could not form the government. And I don't know how many times or how many days we spend just speculating that government will fall, government will fall, government will fall, because it was a conglomeration of eight, seven political parties at that particular point of time. 